This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest updates. Today we are going to be discussing Law 1 and Law 2 of Exponents. Let's look at Law 1. Law 1 says that if we have a to the power m times a to the power n, that will give you a to the power m plus n. What does that mean? It means that when we multiply and the bases are the same, we can add the exponents without changing the bases. So if I have 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 3, that will give me 2 to the power 5. But what happens in a case like this if we have 2x squared times 3x to the power 4? Here, yeah, the bases are not the same. So we need to multiply them. 2 times 3 is 6. And what do we do with the exponents? We add them. That will give us 6x to the power 6. Let's look at example 3. We've got negative 4x squared y to the power 4 times negative 2x to the power 6y. So what do we need to know? We need to simplify the numbers because the bases are not the same. And what's a negative times a negative? Can you tell me? A negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 4 times negative 2 will give you positive 8. And then x squared times x to the power 6, we say 2 plus 6. That will give me x to the power 8. And we add the exponents of the y's together. That's y to the power 4. But what is this? This is an invisible 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Let's look at one more example. 5m to the power 5, n to the power 7, times 5mn. So what we notice here is that the bases are the same. We know we need to add the exponents and that this is an invisible 1. What will that give us? It will give us 5 to the power 2. And what do we do with m5 and m, also an invisible 1? We add them. That's m to the power 6. And this will give me n to the power, again, invisible 1, n to the power 8. But we need to simplify we cannot leave it as 5 squared. What is 5 squared? 5 squared is 25. So your answer will be 25 m to the power 6 n to the power 8. Law 2 says that when we have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, when the bases are the same, we can subtract the exponents. Let's look at our first example. 2 to the power 7 divided by 2 to the power 2 will be the same thing as 2 to the power 7 minus 2, which is 2 to the power 5. However, we know that we need to simplify, and 2 to the power 5 is 32. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 18m cubed divided by 4m. Now, we know that we need to simplify this fraction. How are we going to do this? We need to find the highest common factor for 18 and 4. So the highest common factor of 18 and 4 is 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So what we've done now is simplify our fraction. We need to now simplify our exponents. How do we simplify our exponents? By subtracting them. So that's m to the power 3 minus m to the power 1, and that will give us m to the power 2. That is in its simplest form um, because we cannot simplify any further, so that's our final answer. Let's look at another example. So we have 16m to the power 4, n to the power 9, p to the power 10, divided by 10m squared, n cubed, and p to the power 5. Again, what do we need to do? We need to simplify our integers by finding the highest common factor. 
So the highest common factor of 16 and 10 is 2, and when we simplify, we get 8 over 5. So let's simplify our exponents. So here you can see that we group the m exponents together, 4 minus 2, and we group the n exponents together, 9 minus 3, and we group our p exponents together, 10 minus 5. What does that give us? That gives us 8m squared n to the power 6, p to the power 5, over 5. Thank you for watching with us. And if you need tuition in maths, physics, accounting, English or Afrikaans, grades 1 to 12, please feel free to contact me on the number on the screen. We'll see you again soon.